Welcome to another episode. I'm Kay the Guy. So today we're going to do a review on this Amazon F-Cut Mini and how well it provides us with really solid wood chips for our garden, for our composting, and for our farm here. So stay tuned. So today we're reviewing the F-Cut Mini, which was a purchase we made on Amazon for a wood chipper. We were in need of a wood chipper, mainly because we have so many trees around that every year they constantly fell limbs all over the yard and we have to clean these all up prior to mowing. But what this also does is it supplies us with another source of organic material, which is these wood chips. So the first thing when it comes to the assembly of this product, the assembly is fairly easy when it's in the box. The motor is separate from the cutting casing and then the chute is also separate from the cutting casing as well. So you have to assemble all these pieces together, mainly where all these bolts are. Now, um, the only issue that I ran into when assembling this product was that one of the bolt holes for the third mount in the center for the, uh, the wheels didn't line up with the casing. And because I wanted this thing to have every bolt securely fastened, because it's literally exploding pieces of wood chips inside there, I wanted to make sure that it had 100% lockdown capacity, that I did actually drill out that hole. I walled it out a little bit more just so they would line up because a bolt wouldn't fit through. So that was the biggest caveat that I had ran into when first assembling this unit. After fully assembling it, adding gas, I completely forgot to add uh, oil to the system, which the preferred oil for this system is, is a regularly available diesel oil at 1540 weight. I also added a MOA, which is a friction modifier to oil. It's an oil additive. Um, that really helps with everything in the moving parts of the crankcase where the oil is held to just have a longer reliability because that friction modifier actually lessens metal to metal contact. So I added that just as a safety precaution to help my wood chipper last longer. Now when I didn't add any oil to it, there is a safety feature to this that basically allows the engine not to start if there's no oil to it. So after attempting to start the, the motor, it wouldn't start, wouldn't start, and then I realized, oh, didn't add oil to it. So it's a stupid mistake, but they actually make it so this thing won't fire unless that oil level's at a certain level, which is toward the top. So the oil on it is really easy to add, it's really easy to check. So after getting everything set up on the F-Cut Mini, getting it fully assembled, we went ahead and tried it out for about a half an hour. Uh, as you can see here, um, it'll handle pretty much any branch that you throw at it. It does handle up to three inch, which it even has a measurement here at the top chute that it'll handle up to three inch pieces of wood. Now, the only part to that that most people don't read further on is it'll only handle 10 inch wood at a time. When you stick a three inch piece of wood uh, that's six feet long, it's just gonna bog the motor down and stop it. So you wanna make sure that when you're feeding this machine that you're constantly aware of what it can and can't handle. The other part to it is making sure that you're wearing safety glasses because as you're throwing twigs and sticks through it, it's, it's kicking things back. So a lot of times when I'm throwing bigger branches or bundle of bigger branches in, um, I'm turning away as I'm throwing it in because as I throw it in, it'll, it'll chew a piece out and little pieces will come flying out of that chute right toward your face. In addition to having some safety glasses and obviously gloves, the other thing that I tried to experiment with is whether or not my AirPods Pro using the noise cancellation mode is actually really, really good for using this machine. Um, I can still hear everything that's going on in the machine. It's not overly loud in the amount of volume that's coming into my ears. So AirPods Pro are a good option that I use to cancel the noise, the amount of noise that comes out of this machine in use. So far, from what I can notice, the, the size of the wood chips is great. It's really fine cut. Um, there are other products on the market to make it even finer but this is a great size for us to use it as a mulch layer to cover um, near our beds so that weeds and those kinds of things aren't growing through. It's also a great base if you wanna make fungal dominant compost because there's a lot of carbon here that's uh, fairly broken down. And if you put this into a compost pile, it'll probably take a little bit longer 
but you'll end up with more fungal dominant compost because of these small wood chips. If you found this video helpful on the review of the F-Cut Mini, go ahead and smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos of us doing everything here on the farm. And of course, we're going to use these wood chips not just for a mulch layer, uh, for pathways and those kinds of things. We're also going to use these wood chips in a fungally dominant compost that you can use for your perennial plants. So stay tuned as we use these wood chips for our next process, which is making compost. Thanks for joining me, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.